Hello, my name is Dr. Brian Thornburg, and I'm a board-certified pediatrician, and I want to speak today about vitamin K. Vitamin K is given to babies at birth because vitamin K is not transported across the placenta very well, and vitamin K is needed to help clot. So we want to make sure that the baby has adequate amounts of vitamin K so they don't have a problem called hemorrhagic disease of the newborn. And parents are very concerned about injecting their newborn baby with a needle to administer the vitamin K. They want to know if there is a healthy, safe alternative that is pain-free in order to administer the vitamin K. The good news is the answer is yes. Oral vitamin K is as effective and safe as injectable vitamin K. But there's a couple qualifications that you must know if you're considering this option. First, the baby must be term. That means 40 weeks or 39 weeks. Preterm babies do not absorb well. And so we don't want to administer a medicine by mouth if we're not certain how well they're absorbing. Second, the baby must be healthy. We don't want to give oral medications to a sick baby because like the preterm baby, they may not absorb well. And we don't want to be left in a situation where this vital vitamin K is not being absorbed. The third reason is if mom has taken seizure medicines. If mom has taken seizure medicines, that blocks absorption of vitamin K. So this baby definitely needs injectable vitamin K right at birth. So how do we administer oral vitamin K if we have a healthy term newborn whose mom has not taken anti-seizure medications? First is on the day the baby is born, they take two milligrams. And then each week after that, for the next 11 weeks, for a total of 12 weeks, they take one milligram per week. Now, with all of that said, there is one concern with oral vitamin K, and that is if the baby has liver disease, which we do not routinely screen for at birth, they will not absorb the vitamin K well. The problem is, is we don't know which babies have liver disease, since one, we don't screen, and two, we don't know it until they start to show symptoms. So please talk to your pediatrician and your OB about what options are best for you and your family. Thank you, and come back for more information from a practical, common sense, functionally holistic pediatrician.